The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Photoshop. My name is Jen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to double tag your graphics. So, like normal, you're going to depress on whatever shape you desire. Let's stick with rectangle since it's basic. So you're going to drag and drop, drag in the shape you desire and adjust your shape. Since this is the back ground square, I'm trying to find my words today, we're going to go for a darker color. Since, let's go for a navy blue for out of contrast. And you just have to click off to the side. And then you're going to drag in another square about two inches sh shorter to the square you have currently. And you're going to fill the color a, more of a pastel color. You can add whatever design to the square or you can add a gradient, totally up to you. And this is a good way to make your poster or graphics pop off the page. Then you want to go back to rectangle two. This is an off rectangle one, I meant. And this is an option. You don't have to do this. If you want to keep a, a solid, um, as far as visibility goes, it's up to you. But you're going to double click into blending options and go to its opportunity, which is the visibility of the shape. And you want to go for the top one. And that's going to fade it. And then for this one, you could leave it or you could add an outline. So I'm going to add an outline. You want to press stroke. And you're going to go for a dark color for it to stand out. And that's how you like you double tag on a, on a graphic or this is a design that you can reference and yeah thank you for tuning into this episode of Photoshop tutorials my name is Jen and I'll see you next time for another episode <laughs>